Hello friends welcome here. Game of Thrones has not just moved the fans with its shocking final season, but has also impacted the cast. Kit Harington is undergoing treatment after the end of the HBO television series in which he starred as the heartthrob Jon Snow. He has been staying at a luxury wellness center for nearly a month following the end of the long-running HBO series. Multiple sources with knowledge about the 32-year-old actor told Page Six on Tuesday, the end of the show's eight-year run reportedly really hit him hard. His representative said that Kit has decided to utilize this break in his schedule as an opportunity to spend some time at a wellness retreat to work on some personal issues. Harrington, 32, went from virtual unknown to world stardom in Game of Thrones, in which he played the role of the courageous Snow, whose actions in the final episode were one of the show's biggest shockers. The statement did not give details of his issues, but the New York Post's Page Six column said Harrington was hard hit by the ending of the show and was being treated for stress, exhaustion and alcohol use. Page Six added that he checked into a clinic in the United States help several weeks before the medieval fantasy series came to an end on May 19. The finale attracted a record 19.3 million viewers in the United States alone. Harrington, who married his Game of Thrones co-star Rose Leslie in 2018, told Variety earlier this year that he had previously found it hard to deal with the fame and attention the show brought, calling it terrifying, I felt I had to feel that I was the most fortunate person in the world, when actually, I felt very vulnerable. I had a shaky time in my life around there, like I think a lot of people do in their 20s, he told Variety in an interview. After filming his final scene, he was distraught, my heart is breaking. I love this show more than anything. It has never been a job for me, it's my life, he said. The source added, his wife Rose is being extremely supportive. Everyone close to him really wanted him to get some rest. Right now, he just needs peace and quiet. So what's wrong with Kit? At least superficially, the crisis has been provoked by the end of Game of Thrones. In a behind-the-scenes documentary about the show he was seen crying over the ending which saw him kill his lover, an aunt, Daenerys Targaryen, played by Amelia Clark. He said that when he read what was to happen, I blubbed my eyes out. I cried. I cried, yeah. It's also true that after nine years playing hero Jon Snow, he has nothing to do, his schedule is empty. He has written some television shows with friend Dan West, who was his co-writer on the 2017 TV series Gunpowder and his best pal at Central Drama School, but there is no filming in the diary. While Game of Thrones made him a household name, fame has taken its toll, leaving him loathing and loving it with equal passion. He's been quoted saying that the first series of Game of Thrones was the most fun to film, as nobody knew who he was. These days, crowds of up to 500 will gather if word spreads that he is at a certain hotel, and he is approached constantly for photographs by fans, which he always refuses. You have to, otherwise you end up feeling like a mannequin, he said. It feels like being Bieber or something. Unlike his co-stars, he has shunned social media because he found the Game of Thrones hype so alarming. In an interview this year he explained, I give enough of myself away that if I did it on my own time it would drive me mad. There is no question that growing up in the public eye was tricky, and also no question that repeated indiscretions caught on camera showed he was seemingly using boozy binges to let off steam. As he said in an interview, I have a wild streak, but I like to keep that very much for my friends. I love going out. I love partying. When Game of Thrones was filming he would spend six months between two hotels, one in Belfast and in one in Iceland, where darkness falls at 4 p.m. There was a sense of being involved in an epic undertaking, one battle scene took 55 days to shoot. While in treatment he will, one hopes, have missed out on all the controversy over the final series and its, let down, of an ending, and be able to concentrate instead on the really big question, which is what comes next for him. He said, I'm glad I've experienced it, but you couldn't go on for much longer. It's a bit incessant, he added, these things can't go on forever. Let's hope he gets better soon. As fans, we must also show some respect to the actors and crew who worked really hard. Not everyone is always happy with what is up there. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.